going to everyone. <sighs> All right. We we live? We are live. not live, but we're going. We're rolling. So, what is the premise of this? Just talk until we're too stoned to do so. <laughs> yeah, man, smoke a joint, drink some coffee and uh we'll How many? have a conversation. Just count the lulls. Like, uh, all right, we just had four 30 second lulls, and it was like, that was 30 minutes. <laughs> like, oh, I think it might be time to wrap it up, bro. <laughs> exactly, man. So, yeah, I mean, we're fucking set up. We got, uh, we got Google ready to go on the secondary computer, and we are recording audio for the very first uh, two cell phones. <laughs> Anthony and Jason's uh, idiot blog. Yeah, we'll come up with a cool name soon enough. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking, uh, and there'll be video next time. Yeah, we'll set up a GoPro, maybe my big camera. We could still do Facebook Live and all that shit. <coughs> or yeah, we could just Facebook Live with. I got the <coughs> webcam on this laptop right here. <coughs> Woo! And that, all right, the animal cookies, man. This is the bomb. Yeah, ain't smoked all day yet. We're waiting for this. <sighs> so what's been going on with you, man? Well, today is six years sober, man. Today? Yeah, I mean, besides the weed. Well, I haven't had any, uh, yeah, no, no <laughs> booze, no cigarettes, no fucking hardcore drugs, man, for six years since, uh, since your wedding. <laughs> Did you drink on my wedding? I, we got smashed on your fucking uh, wedding, I didn't dude. remember if you drank or not then. That I was just the remember very you shaved last your beard. time. Yeah, I shaved my beard. I don't remember I much about my wedding. It was my big blowout, uh, for, you know, like, I, I got wasted the last time in Stockton with all oh, my that's brothers. that's fucking right. I do remember. Yep. It was Eric's birthday. It was your wedding, and. Yeah, it was a great time, man. So that was six years ago when I got married? Oh, shit, today. Six years ago. Oh, shit, man. Fucking A. Well, oh, yeah, I'm divorced now. <laughs> yeah. too. I just got back from court <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> yeah, you just literally drove back from California. <laughs> <coughs> so are you divorced? Are you officially divorced? I th- I'm waiting for my paperwork in the, the mail. I gotta, yeah, they're sending it to me because she couldn't make a, a full judgment on the whole thing of the custody, so she's got to do, uh, you know, she's got to do some reviewing CPS interview shit. She's got to look over all that shit. Bullshit, man. Mm-hmm. It's always a fun game dealing with fucking divorce and kids and everything. Fuck that. Yeah. So, <coughs> plenty of people fucking tried to stop drinking. What the fuck did you do? You because you were a crazy fucking alcoholic. I just stopped, man. I just <laughs> did, well, I quit like seven times, really? and then. Uh, yeah, and then I, uh, I don't know, finally stuck uh, this last time, man. I, you know, I think because I really committed to it, you know, I really said this is gonna be it for me. I'm gonna have a big blowout, and uh, and no more fucking around, man. You know, be really, really solid on it. It stuck this time, man. I, like I said, it took seven or eight times before it stuck. Fuck. Uh, yeah, you know, I never really thought to ask you. I just remembered that you quit drinking. I was like, Jesus Christ, you quit drinking? That fucking guy? I know, right? But yeah, life's better, man. Life's so much better on the the sober end of things. Oh yeah, I mean like um, soberish. I had a dream the other night that I was drunk, and I woke up, and it was like I was not like a nightmare, but it was just like I don't know, man. It's like you know when you get forced into doing something that you don't want to do. Yeah, that's what alcohol makes me feel like. I'm like I can't control myself anymore as well as I could. I know exactly. Not what like you it mean. makes me do stupid shit, but my capabilities go down. My abilities go down. I don't like that. It's a disability. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, uh, that was one of the things that I loved about it so much, man, was that I wasn't, I wasn't in control anymore, <coughs> and there's that whole bullshit thing of, oh, I'm not, I, I was drunk, so I'm not responsible for my actions that people like to pull, and I would pull <laughs> that bullshit too, and I would just, you know, do whatever the fuck I felt like, because I was drunk and I was partying and it didn't matter. Oh yeah, I didn't really give a fuck about much, <laughs> 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 but I didn't quit drinking I just quit drinking because I got busy working for you and working with you, and we were just always fucking busy. And although at Vamped and shit, we could pretty much just drink the whole night and work. That wasn't my thing, man. Whenever yeah. I'm at work, I don't, I don't care what I can do. Usually, don't do anything at work, <laughs> unless you're with your boss and he encourages you. Yeah, you know, it just depends on the gig, right? Yeah, I remember one one time we went uh, for some company, I'm not going to say, we went to lunch and everybody was like ordering a beer and I was like, fuck, you know, that actually sounds good. I'll have a Sierra Nevada. I hadn't been drinking, you know, because yeah. I don't, it's not that I don't drink. It's that I just don't usually drink. I'm not against it. I will drink right now if I want, yeah. but I don't want 
you know, so this time I did have a beer and I forgot that I don't usually drink and I slammed a big tall Sierra Nevada. I was kind of drunk going back in. I was like, fuck, dude. See, this is why I don't fucking drink anymore. Yeah, Sierra Nevada is the good stuff, man. Yeah, I don't drink any of that piss stuff. You. Should I drink get you drunk? <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, so we've been talking about doing this for a long fucking time, man. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a long time coming for the blog to happen. I'm glad we're doing it finally, man. You just got to sit down and do it, right? Is that what it it's is, a not, blog? What is, what is this? A, it's I not a podcast because we're not live. Right. Um, although we will switch. I, I guess yeah, it, it, it would it, be a podcast the, still technically. Yeah, we're a zygote podcast. Zygote Next podcast. Next time it'll be a fetus. And we'll, then it'll <laughs> yeah, and then eventually we'll have live with video. <coughs> and then by the time we're teenagers, you will go have gone back and listened to this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what will happen. <coughs> what the fuck were we talking about the other day? Oh, we were talking about AI and shit. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun, man. Yeah, I'm reading uh, Ray Kurzweil's newest book, How to Create a Mind, The Secret Thought. Or wait, sorry. How to Create a Mind, The Secret of Human Thought Revealed. And uh, <coughs> I'm on uh, the seventh chapter How right much now. does it reveal? It's pretty interesting, man. It's it's kind of <coughs> once you start kind of getting an understanding on how the brain stores information and pattern recognition theory of the mind, which is what uh, one of Ray Ray Kurzweil's theories on how the brain actually works. Uh, it's kind of a trip, man. You know, you start really um, dissecting your own <coughs> thought process regularly, you know, and how you're recalling this information and understanding how it's being recalled. It really. It really fucks with your head. You're like, now I can feel my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it coursing around up there. See, I don't know. I want to read that because I'm kind of skeptical of this guy. I've been watching videos ever since. Uh... A lot of people are skeptical of Ray Kurzweil. <laughs> no, that's fine. They're all wrong. That's great. Everybody can be, should be skeptical even of themselves. You should, you should absolutely be skeptical. But um, I don't think he's wrong. I just think he's hopeful. He's not, though. The thing about Kurzweil <laughs> is, and everyone initially gets that um, that concept from him that he's just like this hopeful, wishful thinker and like a dreamer. And, and while he is, you know, he is very, you know, very much a dreamer. Everything that he comes up with is based in reality. You know, like he doesn't go, he just doesn't pull <laughs> shit out of his head and say it's gonna happen. You know, he just says, well. Based on these mathematical trends, uh, in so many, in so much time, this is inevitable. It's not. I don't think this is going to happen. Mathematically, this shit's happening. Deal with it. You know, that's yeah. that's what that's where Kurzweil stands on it all. And, <coughs> he, and other people come in and kind of create this whole um, image of him that's a little grandiose or whatever you want to say. Uh, and uh, and he, it's not really his bag at all. He's really no, a mathematician. Yeah, uh, I don't ever hear him it. saying like wild things for yeah. the sake of. He's not kiss. <laughs> he's just, he fucking the things that he says. Um, <laughs> like what was I trying? What was I fucking watching on the way over here? He was saying, like, okay, he's talking about how technology advances like exponentially every year, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, so, but there are. Sometimes where you have to backtrack, like, um, and then there are sometimes like where you look at people in the 17th century or whatever, they were saying the smartest fucking guys were like, airplanes are never going to be possible. That's ridiculous. It well, just, they were doing the math and they're like, look at this shit. It doesn't work. The math still doesn't work. Really? <laughs> still, by the way, when it comes to a avionics and stuff like that. There's still little bits of the uh, of it where they're like, ah, these things shouldn't be flying. They're probably like, ah, this got to go 500 miles per hour. That doesn't make work. any sense. Yeah, <laughs> they're like 6,000 llama meters per second. Llama meters. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the scientific process is an, it's an ever growing thing, man. You know, human knowledge is just not complete. I don't know if it ever will be, and um, and you know, it's just it it as it can time never progresses. Be. You know, you, you went from all these great thinkers and their theories slowly became disproven or adjusted or corrected, you know, as time goes on. And, uh, and we're always close, but we're never quite just there. You know, that well, grand unified theory of everything. Oh, by the time everybody <laughs> thinks they're – see, 
you know what I learned just listening to tons of fucking well not tons but tons of different instances of three or four people talking <laughs> physicists and shit they're just like well they're talking about how there's egos big egos involved in and all that shit and at the same time that isn't really bad because all the advances come from trying to prove your colleagues wrong and shit. So everybody gets this grand unified theory. There's one asshole smarter than everybody standing in the corner ready to prove it all wrong, you know? And then it all starts over again. And That's science. There you go. That's why Fucking, it's so great. I love it, dude. That's why I hate religion because that shit can never happen. The guys yeah. in the corner are like, hey, we should just go to science. Yeah. <laughs> anybody standing yeah, around trying to prove things wrong is is just, uh, you know, not accepted in those circles. Oh, yeah. They don't want things proved wrong. They just want to be happy and feel good about the world. And, you know, whatever, man. We we only got so many fucking times around the sun, so you do whatever you want. Yeah. Whenever you're, you know, on this short little roller coaster ride we got on this little blue dot floating around a giant ball of uh, <laughs> hydrogen and helium that's just imploding on itself. You it's know, insane. Totally t uh, different from AI, but we were talking about... <clears throat> I, I was calling bullshit on fucking mars colonizing mars and it was not like it's my yeah. i'm the first person to ever say it but it's like if you can colonize mars you can fix whatever's going on down here we can fix whatever's going on down but here. if you think in the way super super future whenever the fucking like and we will the fix earth what's going uh, on till the here. sun turns into like a red giant and yeah. it pulls us in and then like maybe five billion years from now maybe fucking mars will be in a closer like a more like in the goldilocks zone maybe and then we'll have to go to mars Think about that shit. <laughs> Actually, you're not far off, and the um, <coughs> and current theories are quite the opposite of that. Actually, really, that Mars used to be in the Goldilocks zone, and that as time went on, and that's what how and that's, that's how gravitational orbits uh, work. Same things happening with the Moon and the Earth. Every year, the Moon gets a little further away. Does it? Yeah, it huh. does. And uh, and same with uh, Mars from the Sun. You know, just a little bit. And so, yeah, Mars used to be in the Goldilocks zone, or at least that's what is, you know, thought by most scientific minds today, is that um, Mars used to hang out in the Goldilocks zone. And then, in fact, um, life began on Mars originally in its more basic state, single-celled organisms and such. Um, and then in a barrage of asteroids, the life was transmitted to Earth. And it's called transpermia, actually. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's uh, where life travels between planets. <clears throat> and uh, it's been proven plenty that uh, that uh, things like tardigrades can live in the vacuum of space and deal with all the massive amounts of radiation and extreme temperature shifts and such. And they'll, they'll take that journey, you know, of years to travel. And they'll survive no problem. Hmm. You know, like uh – even if they had fucking spaceships and shit, think about yeah. how long ago that was. That's what I think is fucking cool about their. <sighs> I'm talking about oh how they moved the Easter Island statues and how they made pyramids and shit like that. And those are two pretty fucking just different scale objects. Or uh, it's way, things. man. It's just pulleys and gravity and shit, dude. I I, I watched a guy st uh, stand up a, a 13 foot tall uh, concrete slab the other day by himself. With nothing but a couple of fucking uh, uh, tree trunks and some rope. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, even I mean, beside that, yeah. besides all that, sh the primitive shit we're thinking about, like, have you ever heard of the Piri Reese maps? I might no. be saying it wrong, but I think that's right. Okay. I think that, like, uh, I was reading this book, Fingerprints of the Gods, by Graham Hancock, and he's talking about pyramids and shit like that, and just lost civilizations and how they had technology. So they found these maps of Antarctica, but they are – yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's fucking right there. I have That's heard of these. The I maps of Antarctica, but um, they're like from the <coughs> fucking 13th century or 12th century or some shit like that before they – or, or – that's when they found that. them or That's some shit. That's when they found it. Yeah, it's way before Yeah, it's times. way the fuck before Antarctica had any ice on it or anything. And they're like, how the fuck did they have this? They got latitude. They got longitude. And uh, that, you know, th we had problems nailing down, I think, longitude. I, th I yeah, fucking don't know. I'm not two, smart I, enough. I it's either longitude or latitude. One of them is well, really of course it was one of calculate. them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had trouble nailing down that Z-axis that we always <laughs> 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 the fourth dimension Topographical that <laughs> play maps that they always made. <laughs> no, but yeah, they, they fucking uh, 
they put them up one next to the other, and uh, 15, they're real accurate. for military intelligence by the Ottoman Empire. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so that's what I was reading about, and I was like, holy fuck. And he's, it, you know, you made a good fucking point. Like, if they had all these, you know, people will say, oh, well, where's the evidence of this? Motherfucker, if you left your house standing where it was today with your metal beams and your, you left your TV and your Xbox and shit. I was just making the point the other day. We were driving through the fucking desert. I said, what if you left an entertainment center out here? Like, how long do you think it would be before it was dust? You know what I mean? The pyramids are still standing because they're made of fucking stone. They're made of the dust. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, I call bullshit on, on all of them trying to fucking solve these pyramid problems with their primitive tools and primitive ideas. They're, like, looking backward when they should just – I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like they're wasting their time. They're never going to figure it out. That we can't help ourselves. We couldn't build a pyramid now. Like it would take fucking forever. Who knows how long it took them to do it? And there's there there's stones mined from thousands of miles away and shit like that. And people want to say aliens, and I'm just like, what if they That's, had trucks, man? Yeah. <laughs> what if they had hundreds of years and armies of slaves? There you go. Wait, they did. <laughs> They did. You know what I could do with a couple centuries and a, you know, 100,000 slaves? Yeah. Anything. But would Name you build it. a pyramid? Yeah, well, I mean, if you wanted to immortalize yourself 5,000 years ago or, you know, whatever, you know, 12,000 years ago, depending on what you believe. So we just jumped a whole bunch of subjects. We went Well, this is what we do when we AI talk AI and space and then colonizing Mars to Fucking ancient civilizations. You want to? Do you want to jump another one? Here's the one that's fucking pissing me off right now. What's been now. going on in your brain? Um. Oh. Yeah, you already know what I'm talking about. Right? The high frequency active oral uh, oral is that, is, research program. Yeah, the heart thing. Is that in Russia? No, that's an American thing, man. Is it? We uh, we built it a while ago. But yeah, people are trying to blame it for the recent hurricanes. Oh. Oh yeah, it's, it's the goddamn. It's ridiculous. It's used to increase, you know, that they're able to increase precipitation, in certain storms and such. They can't create freaking hurricanes Dude. with lasers yet. We're that not there. Be, that'd be cool if you could. We're we're not there, man. That there's a scale, and that would uh that would put us uh into the scale, you know, as a type one civilization. And you know what else? Being able to control the <coughs> weather like that. <coughs> I mean, there's no. I mean, I would like to hear some conspiracy theories on that because there is none. No. Is, are People, there – what are they going to really do? What would they benefit from that? If anything, uh, they'd be like, hey, we could stop the hurricane. Look at this. Stop the fucking hurricane and then give us money yeah. because we're obviously the best at everything. Yeah. <laughs> we won today, guys. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's experimental and it's very important and it's going to lead to us developing some very amazing technology. But, I mean – this stuff is not able to create oh, hurricanes. It's in Alaska. Yet. So, um, yeah, and then people, uh, I've seen a lot of people post in that video, Michu Kaku says, and even says right here, uh, caused Irma and Harmony. Uh, no, he, that was a, the video was him on CBS three years ago just discussing the H A A R P. And that's it. Just talking about it, theorizing about possibilities in the future of what it could, what it could accomplish. They should and and people just going to jump to conclusions and say Michu Kaku said that we shot a laser into the sky and created these two insanely like biblical hurricanes. It's fucking absurd. Dude, it's absurd. They, you, he would never admit would, that. And <clears throat> you know what would help fix civilization and fix morons. Yes. We should start seriously licensing editing software, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. You got to be held yeah. accountable. Right? There's so much fake bullshit and opinionated propaganda bullshit yeah. out there. Like, I don't even know if you could call it propaganda because it's just like one guy or two guys. It's just people lying. It's just people making videos and lying, <laughs> trying to confuse the public. <clears throat> like the flat earthers? Yeah, like the fucking flat earthers. That shit blows my mind. And then the recent eclipse, they want to say proves that the Earth is flat. Yeah, because 
Oh, God How? damn. I don't know, man. You got How video? does that prove that the Earth is flat? You got to see if you could find a video about that or something. There's so many videos. Um, but, yeah, they... Uh, they want to try to use that recent eclipse as its proof for their bullshit theories. I, you know, I, uh, going back to what, <clears throat> no, no, I'm not even going to go back to the AI. We'll talk about this for a second and then. The AI is a fun one, though. Yeah, that one could go on forever and ever. These fucking flat earth guys. God, there was so many goddamn things. There was a thing that I, uh, Steve-O from jackass said something hilarious he was like they say that you can't that all the photos are doctored and shit from space he's like i went he got to do something for wild boys where he got to go way up into yeah. the fucking like out to the very edge of the atmosphere or just outside it or some shit yeah and he's he's got he's like i have footage my own footage it's unedited and everything and you can see the goddamn curvature of the earth man you can see that it's a goddamn big ball it, <laughs> i'll put on the <laughs> channel right now and they have a stream from the space station that circles the planet it just it orbits the planet every 90 minutes i want to say and uh and you can just watch the earth go around in a fucking circle man it's killer i really enjoy it <laughs> that'd be cool if aliens came and we could like see them coming we're like hey check this fucking ship out it's coming <laughs> <laughs> what well, do you that what do you think about fucking aliens in general? Do you think aliens I'm are here, right or do you middle. think they're ever going to come? If aliens, my opinion on aliens is this: if aliens exist, well, then, certainly exist. They certainly exist somewhere. Are we ever going to see that? Um, it's it's hard to say. Because there's been there's been interesting uh, leaps in technology that uh, you know we 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 could possibly get to the nearest solar system that does have a, a habitable planet in the Goldilocks zone, um, habitable being in quotation marks. It would take a couple <coughs> generations. You know what? But the on a ship that you could exist your entire life on. So we could yeah, get there right. over like you know it wouldn't be years well, we that could, we travel; it would be generations that we travel. Yeah, because we could see like forty thousand light years. Away, or no, that doesn't even make any mm. sense, right? Or we can measure that far or some shit we, like that. You I, know uh, what I'm thinking about is like you say like the Goldilocks zone and shit, but that I don't think that is relevant because like think about it. It's some other kind of life form, and I'm not talking basic. I mean, we you could say bacteria. That's aliens. And uh, that's absolutely alien. But that's that's not what I mean. I mean, like intelligent life like us <coughs> or <coughs> <coughs> it, like think about it here. OK, four point three, six, seven light years. God damn. That's so far. But think yeah. about it. They, they found some shit in. Um, I forget where the fuck it is, man. They got like arsenic and phosphorus in this water and it's like it's like you know some kind of weird fucked up hot spring or some shit somewhere that i saw and they found life in there no life that's considered an alien i guess is what they were saying because it's not carbon based life form it's not a carbon based life form and that's it lives it, on this is, planet that is how we define life on this planet so it, a goldilocks biochemistry zone doesn't mean anything anymore cuz that thing is like a big fucking swimming eel looking thing or whatever the fuck it was well, um, God, I hope I'm not super wrong in my memory. <laughs> there, uh, a lot of a lot of theoretical physicists like to um, like to hypothesize about silicone-based life form because <coughs> molecularly, there it's it's um, it's similar to carbon in the sense that it can create and bond with a shit ton of things. Uh, um, where uh, carbon, it, the reason carbon is the basis of all life is because of uh this freaking joint we're not scientists it, it can we yeah, are yeah, not yeah, scientists yeah, i'm not a, yeah, don't take this you we're know, audio research engineers. what we say <laughs> we're just we're just nerds talking about shit uh no it's because it, it the carbon molecules can create the most or, or the, sorry the carbon atoms can create the most um <coughs> the 
the most varying kinds of molecules. We shouldn't get so high when we do this. That's the point, though. See? Yeah, I know. Right? That's, how, gonna, <laughs> that's uh, how we. That's how we keep time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Now I'm fucking retarded and I can't talk. But yeah, no, carbon makes the most. Sh- carbon makes the most shit. Yeah. Just the way it bonds with other atoms, uh, and so that's why life is based around carbon and silicone is is close it's not it's not really close honestly i believe uh and this is i just I, i'm pretty sure this is correct but uh yeah carbon can create more possibilities or more combinations than all other atomic possibilities oh, okay i get what you're saying yeah <coughs> so that's why <coughs> that's why there's that whole carbon-based life forms you know what else thing. i was thinking but so sil- yeah silicone-based life forms is uh totally a possibility not even like life forms like if you think about it think about what we do do we just send people to mars and shit and just send people why the fuck would aliens come here it would be yeah. a goddamn drone or something right like <laughs> well that's the other thing we would never yeah aliens i was thinking about that i was like there's i was like whenever i was as 15, alien. 16, 17, 25. <laughs> I was always like, dude, I can't wait till aliens might come. You know, that's not impossible. Like, it's probably not going to happen, but it might. It could. And now I'm like, no. I think Our Jesus will come back about the, the same of, time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Central Park and, uh, and say, take me to your leader. No, that's not going to fucking happen. And then take us for all the... For our butts and our resources, because <laughs> everybody yeah. gets an anal probe, and then they're gonna take away all our oil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they know exactly what we like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, realistically, at our primitive level of technology, we're like we would send nanobots, you know, to scope shit out. We would send nanobots and have them build shit because we can make nanobots build stuff, and they could transmit information back to us, and and we can learn about these different worlds through nanobots and there's even um um talk about you know sending out individual bots to every single asteroid in the solar system all the planets and all the moons and all uh, everything we can find and just like kind of have a a general (coughs) digital map of the solar system not just we just have Ray Kurzweil send his robotic dad to Mars and just see how he's his like, robotic. have him start a fucking family, a robot family up there. He's just up there building stuff. Right. <laughs> that fucking, so, yeah, dude. That's, that's a good that's, segue that's, to the AI. Yeah, but that's how they would uh, explore it. But even then, I mean, that's just our reference to technology. And then there's also the, the thought that, um, and which is a real interesting thing, if you look at how – long we've had technology being the most intelligent species that um is known to exist in the universe um and it hasn't been a long time and i think that's just stupid to say known to the universe we haven't found anybody so that statement is bullshit <laughs> you know that's like saying i am the best guitar player on this couch you are <laughs> well, yeah because i'm on it by but myself you are. It's a true statement <laughs> yeah um stupid statement yeah it's, it's, the, it's the best we got and uh so uh oh shit what was i gotta saying? say something you can't just be silent we're american <laughs> right there's the whole and um you know so everything's so far away from each other uh so even if life did spontaneously occur thousands of times even in our own galaxy um the amount of time it takes to create this insane technology that we are we're getting there you know we're not quite there yet um you know we're getting close to getting off um this little island and and actually going out and exploring the universe but we're also way closer to totally destroying the planet so we can't live on it anymore or just straight up killing each other (laughs) And the planet, so we can't live on it anymore. Yeah. We're way closer to that than we are to actually getting the fuck up and exploring our own solar system. And, uh, and I mean, any kind of real way. You know, like, there's fuck there's it. a lot of space agencies them. out there um, exploring the, you know, solar system and, and, you know, teaming up and doing all kinds of cool shit out there. But it's not really – it's it's starting to become that public domain, you know, with companies like SpaceX and Boeing and um, Virgin Galactic. Um, so this shit's getting exciting, but at the same time, 
Korea just fucking tested a hydrogen bomb. And they oh, have, so they said it was probably, you know, they're probably their like their a big ass water balloon, and they were just like, "Look at our <laughs> hydrogen bomb! <laughs> are you scared now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just want us to bomb them, <laughs> and we, they do. I think China wants us to bomb them. You know, I think China is China manufacturing on, man. all this news because right? they're just sitting there like they want an excuse to kind of take all the shit that we owe them. <laughs> They're just like, I'm um, pretty sure we own the entire East Coast. It's like, so we'll just have that, please. We don't need to send troops. We're just going to collect on this IOU. That's when we should, okay, see, now Ray Kurzweil can come with his robot army and fuck up China. That's the only way we're going to win, man. Robot army. Because it's not like, I mean. That's Boston Dynamics look at it. the look robot at it. army. If you look at it objectively. <laughs> I mean, they all know karate, and we all have guns, but there's way more of them per square inch, and there's way more square inches, and we're fucked, man. If they decide to come over here, it's like Tosh said. He's like, okay, China's here. What do we do? Take our shoes off? How does this work? Yeah. (laughs) The outnumber is three to one, man. And that's the census, man. You know how many – think about how many people (laughs) – I can't just start saying terrible racist shit, can I? <laughs> well, I mean, it is our <laughs> podcast. You can't, you know, how, how do you, how, how low do you want the bar to be? We started out kind of good. Uh, I mean, we could say racist shit without being racist, but just. <laughs> I'm just going to start, start talking about the sewer people and whatnot, but I've never been to China, and I know for a fact there's American sewer people, so. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that one until I get around a little more. <laughs> Oh, well, from what I've seen, uh, and that doesn't mean anything because I'm American, and what we see is all on television. Yeah, we know everything, though. Yeah, but we know everything, <laughs> you know. But uh, it doesn't seem like it's the best place to live, you know, relatively. Oh, man. But, yeah, so the alien <laughs> thing would be um, the, the, the most reasonable thought process is they never – they they always kill themselves before they get out of uh, their own solar system. Every every intelligent species self destructs. It's like an inevitability, and uh, and that's why we never actually see the aliens. And then the other the other th- interesting thing about um, time and space and the fact that the universe is just one big time machine um, because of the way that we observe it through um, the speed of light, you know, and uh, so if someone was trying to look at Earth, um, they wouldn't – if they were uh, – what, what's the relative distance? Six, it, I mean, just say 65 million years, uh, light years away, which isn't that far. The universe is 13.7 <coughs> billion light years apart. They would see a planet full of dinosaurs if they were observing us through telescopes. Because that's how long it takes the light from our planet, the life that left the planet, when there was dinosaurs traveled through space and time to their planet, just getting there, relatively to our time now. Good fucking point. Yeah, because we don't all the stars that we <laughs> see are most likely burn out. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, fucking crazy. I was explaining that shit to my so kids. They wouldn't they even see like <laughs> intelligent life on this planet if they looked at this planet. They wouldn't even see our satellites because the light from our satellites hasn't reached them yet. I didn't think about it like that. I thought about it in reverse, but yeah. I never thought about somebody observing us yeah. like that. Hmm. So they wouldn't even see, you know, unless they unless they were within, you know, ten thousand light years. That's awesome. They then wouldn't they, see then anything. They could see, they'd and see that would whatever was going down, humans. building the pyramids and shit. <laughs> yeah. And if their equipment's anywhere near ours, all they would be able to see is a few different light spectrums. So they'd be able to say, "Oh, there's water on that planet." Yep. That's about it. There's Every 24 <laughs> fucking hours. You know, it was tripping me out. See, okay, different subject. If you, if AI goes the way that you think it's going to go, what's the first thing you're going to do? What do you think the first thing you'll be able to do is? I mean, not that you can't do anything now. I'm saying go to the store, get something, come back. Or go to a doctor and come back and you're augmented. Well, what year are we talking about? Are we talking about as soon as you think you can? No, um, well, and I love Kurzweil. You know that um, he uh, <coughs> he, he's 
like the last time I checked, it was 2045. Was he, he was predicting the singularity, which is the point where you can't um, tell the difference between a um, android or like a, you know, a computer-based life form and uh, and an actual human being, because they're so much like us, and we're so much like them. And we program. How can you program? The fine line is just gone. It, the t- the tippy tip top <laughs> of programming would be exactly like us times it, whatever. Exactly like us times whatever. We only yeah. know ourselves. I mean, what are you gonna do? Well, like I said, I'm reading this book on artificial intelligence. They're not gonna program artificial intelligence. It's a simple algorithm with um, pattern recognition uh, uh, system. That's that's all it's gonna be. And um, and we, and there's already tons of examples of um, self-learning robots that come out of all kinds of different engineering schools, and they uh, and they just turn them on, and it's a. Tra- Have you seen that the videos mm, of that shit? No. I'll show you a cool <coughs> video of it. Um, but yeah, they they turn these robots on, and the robot has to uh, become accustomed to its environment, and it has to uh, just it has to figure out how its limbs work. And it starts. It, I've seen that one. The I will destroy yeah, humans cute. or whatever the fuck. Uh, no, uh, it's, I'll have uh, a human zoo or some shit. It's like, but yeah, you have to. Uh, so what do you? But th- the, the, that's what they want to get at is is the inte- the artificial intelligent machines will actually have um, a process of learning and and figuring things out for themselves as opposed to us just installing a program in them. Yeah, that's the dangerous part, though, I think. I mean, if it was going to be dangerous. And, and a lot of people feel that way. But um, th- th- that's just – that's 50s thought process scare tactics. You know, that was back when computers were computers and they were machines and humans were these fleshy organisms. And that's that's the fine line that's starting to, to, to go away. You know, and, and – People are getting more and more um, machines and mechanical parts put on their bodies all the time. You know, there's now, um, like in the Olympics, the people with the um, that have both legs amputated, they can get those um, those special special prosthesis that makes them jump super fucking high and run super fast because it's these spring loaded feet. And, you know what's going to uh, happen to the Olympics? Yeah, so that now <laughs> so there'll be an engineering pissing contest. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and so there's this whole thing is like, um, well, clearly we're not gonna. They don't compete. In, this person's not going to compete in the Special Olympics, the Paralympics, right? I mean, because because they're like a superhuman. They are a superhuman. So it's going to be on Spike TV. They're is not what like you're a superhuman. That is a superhuman. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a person that's a, that's their ability to. Uh, to move with their legs is is far beyond that of a normal human. So what do you think you said like the 50s the, oh, so, scare so, tactics? Well, so you- yeah, so that's 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 just the that's the thought process and that's what happens with people, you know? Like we get these um we get these this mythos in our um in our um freaking uh society and people kind of latch on to that. So the whole fear of like the robots taking over the planet you don't think that's a real? That's an old fear, man. That's not even reality in 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 the in the sense of reality. You know, I mean, is the va- uh, is the the vacuum cleaner that fucking vacuums your floor, right, all on its own? That's a robot. What I'm thinking and, is, um, does that pose any threat to you? <coughs> no, it doesn't. And as we, but get you're strong- talking about robots that could think. Yeah. Robots that are probably connected to some type but of internet. The, but what if they got hacked? What if you got hacked? That's all a possibility, and as we grow and we develop this new technology, um, you know, there's all these well, there's all these protocols that come into play as well. I mean, there's there that's like there's people their whole existence is just to go. This is how I'm gonna fuck that up. Yeah, right. You know, they they come at them with these these um um you know computer programs or you know whatever, and they're like, hey, we think that this is pretty safe, and they go, no, it's fucking not, and this is how I'm gonna hack it. And and that's how pe- you know these different internet companies get their system so strong, so they can't be hacked. And we'll we'll be doing the same stuff, and then people will get hacked. You See, know? that's why that I don't will think happen. Fucking but automated cars, dude. That's where I think is super fucking dangerous. They're trying to put that on now, but like, what what if like anonymous level hackers wanted to fuck with that? 
I don't know how it's connected, but it's definitely hackable. They would have to take down three different systems that are being put in place. It's three different GPS satellite systems that are that are um, there just for the cars. And it's one of the reasons that it's taken so freaking long to uh, to get it up and running. Um, it's also the same system, by the way, that they're going to be using for flying cars, <laughs> which totally be a thing. Probably around the same time the autonomous vehicles come out. And it's like, I mean, they're already out, right? I mean, Google has their cars driving around all over the place. But um, when, when we can get one, which it'll be pretty soon. Uh, what about ga- it'll be pretty what's, soon. What are they going to use for gas for those fucking things? preventing though. it. What are you going to use for gas for those fucking things? Jet fuel or something? Nobody's going to be able to afford that shit. No, I mean. Unless they um, want to do hydrogen they engines. They use regular fuel, man. F- um, you just fuel that up more. so much goddamn horsepower. Or um, battery power. But, uh, no, I've seen a lot of videos of it, and they're very expensive. Um, but there already are flying cars. There's just, they need to figure out how to make no a There's no laws or regulations to allow them to operate within the public space. So you can only fly them on like private property. They should make everybody reevaluate for a fucking driver's license right now. Today. Well, that's the reason I was saying you, um, the the same time flying cars will come out with uh, autonomous driving is because you're never going to be able to, uh, you're not going to be allowed to drive your flying car. You know what I mean? And realistically, why would you even own one? I mean, if it because dri- it, it drives itself. Because you're not gonna, you're gonna get in, you're gonna enter. I don't even like an automatic transmission, dude. And, uh, and I was born in the wrong century. The whole concept is it would drive to like an airport. It's it's like essentially like a helipad, and it'll just be a takeoff system, and you'll be waiting in line with a bunch of other cars, and you, they'll all be vertical lift and take off. Or there's there's ones that take off like planes as well. It's a, it's just a plane with fucking wings that drop down. It's kind of ridiculous, but I like the ones that are more of the. Um, like the drones, they have the the quadcopter thing going on. Yeah, see that makes way yeah, more sense. Yeah, those are those super are more practical. And you go to a helipad area and you lift, you take off, and it takes you to another helipad area, and then you land, and then you drive the car to the rest of the location. I don't, I, that would have to be some kind of electric, because that yeah. that would expend so much gas yeah. and fuel. That's just yeah. it would have to be electric. The ones I've seen, I, I've seen ones that are um powered. that are like kind of hybrid, that are they have battery powered and then they have electric to give it enough power as well to get those fucking engines up in the air um but uh but yeah no, that'll all be a real reality and 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 it's just uh the real the real problem isn't even in the technology <coughs> it's it's getting the state legislation passed it's getting people to actually vote in that it's legal to own a self-driving vehicle and real quickly you'll see like companies like uber they're just waiting you know, and they're lobbying to get those self-driving vehicles passed because the second it happens, um, they're just gonna buy every self-driving car they can get their fucking hands on. <laughs> and then, oh, <laughs> I guess that I guess that whole entire uh, that self-learning video I had on did not have audio. <laughs> on it. I, I thought it was muted, and that's why we were hearing audio, and I was okay with that. But I guess I was wrong. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Automated cars. Automated cars. Um, oh, oh yeah. Man. So th- then they'll uh, they'll just have uh, a shit ton of automated cars, and you'll just hit an app on your phone. If you need to go to the store to get groceries, you're just like app on my phone, and a car will show up and take you to the store, and then go pick someone fucking else up, and a different car will pick you up when you're done. Fuck getting that. Your groceries. You know what? I'm just going to send my goddamn car to the grocery store and somebody can fucking <laughs> put my shit in my trunk and it'll come back. Why do that? Amazon Prime will deliver them to your house right now. Yeah, see? Today. There's not even... It takes less than an hour. I'm going to start... I'm going to I'm gonna win the lottery and I'm going to yeah. start capitalizing on delivery industry... Uh, on the delivery industry and, and then You're we're going to take away the automotive. You're a little late to that party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not automotive. Automated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's um, <coughs> what is it? The drone system um for Amazon. Uh, the last I heard was they'll mail you a landing pad. Jesus. And so you just unfold the landing pad and you put it somewhere oh, with it knows clear exactly open sky, where the fuck to go. and it knows where to land and drop your package off. So you Jesus, just put it in your back. You just put it in your backyard uh, or whatever. Yeah. All right. See, fuck automated cars. Drops it. Yeah. yeah, automated cars. I think that's a bad idea. No, it's it's really Robots, not. I, I mean, think it's a bad um, idea if they can think for themselves. If you think about how many shit. people kill themselves driving cars, I mean, you've driven on the street, right? You've seen these fucking monkey oh, yeah. people try to operate heavy equipment. They're very bad at it. 
they're very bad at it. And for cars uh, on a computer, that's a simple system to control. And they would have no problem. And actually, you'd of, get places faster because they all would work in unison because it's all operating off of a tier of, of GPS satellites that control everything simultaneously with the, the, the triple backup system that they have. And uh, they it, it would just – cars would slow down by a couple miles an hour to allow everything to move so smoothly. <coughs> you would you never even notice that you're changing lanes or getting off of a so connected. it would have a pretty good sensor in AI to think about what it's doing, where it's going, what it's about to hit, what it's following. It wouldn't just go off a GPS fucking line. No. So you and me – Cars now already have You and me could stand – we could jump out in the fucking street and make these cars crash. Well, they would just they they don't crash, man. They would crash if I if the car was coming and I popped out. It's different. It it's would a either different hit kind me, of car, man. It would it would take. It, They're okay. small little smart cars. They're not big Physics. steel. A car going fifty miles cars. an hour, and a per, like two little kids. It's gonna say Jason's in the car yeah. versus what was the fucking? I heard uh. Uh, Lawrence Krauss make the he said uh, what if five little children he's like what are you ready for the car to be able to make the distinction of you're the only one in the car five school children run out in front of your car and it says well I can crash into the wall and kill one person or I can run through all these little children he's like are you ready to just know that you're going to die because your car is smart enough to make that decision for you he's like because that's what's going to happen if you think about it because the car is not going to be able to stop on a dime just because somebody runs out in front of it that's impossible they stop super fucking fast. You should – I mean you're going to have to get an aircraft-grade car like that's going to be – a goddamn Prius is not stopping on a fucking dime. These aren't Priuses, man. They're little smart cars. I'm just saying that's a super small yeah. new car. The ones, I, the ones I've watched, they drive them right at each other. But it's going to be a and typical they do car everything is they what can. I'm saying. And and like they throw shit in front of the cars, and they fucking drive them full speed. And these cars, they're, they're stopping five feet. No fucking chance. Show me. Because not a conventional car. You're going to need a car that can carry weight, that can operate still. It's a little smart car size. It's still going to weigh 2,000 pounds, like, at the least. Like, a little uh, a Prius, those fucking batteries weigh, like, f I don't want to say 500 pounds, but I'm thinking it's something close to that. Because, uh... Let's see if I can find it. Even a fucking Formula One car, those motherfuckers can turn on a dime... God damn it. Why did Pandora just pop up on my phone? I know. <laughs> we can always edit this too. <laughs> right? A little sign. Oh, fuck that, man. It's science. We're looking up a video of Japanese cars Fastest here. Fastest stopping car in the world. Best 60 to 0 distances. These are typical cars, but uh, they're the best sports cars. So the number one goes to a uh, 14 Corvette Stingray, 90 feet from 60 to zero, 90 feet. A yeah. Porsche, 93 feet. Okay, so this is like splitting cunt hairs. Yeah. Well, they'll have to... Uh, oh, yeah, see, the 20th one is 101 feet. They'll have to fucking, <laughs> uh, you know... Secure the fucking roadways with fences, or they'll have to just program it to kill those five fucking kids because they're stupid as shit and it's fucking evolution. That won't happen, though. Who would, who would vote for that? Seriously. I would vote for that. Kill whoever runs in front of my car. I vote for that. That would never happen, though, in reality. Yeah. Because there's no – that would never happen. Fuck them. They ran in front of fucking moving traffic. That's going that fast? Yeah. You're going to jump on the freeway? Well, look at – But you're, that's Because your wrong. example is – What I'm saying is – Because your example's not – I'm doing 20 miles an hour in a school zone, which that car can easily stop. Your example is I'm doing 60 miles a fucking hour, uh, okay, and a kid point. jumps in front of my car. Good point. Fuck that. Okay, what if retard. you're doing 45? Let him die. There's sidewalks on streets where it's 45. Let him die. They jumped in front of a moving vehicle. That's a dumbass move. Fuck that person. What if they run out in a crosswalk? Then the car <laughs> knows that the crosswalk is there. So is it going to stop? It's going to slow down and be aware of it. I think that we'd still be able to uh, – I don't think – I think that's better logic, but I don't think –
But if you program, see, now that's where the AI gets dangerous again, because then it's not taking human life into consideration. It's taking direct programming and saying, okay, well, if this happens, well, then fuck it. It's working on efficiency. So then if you let that run away with itself, it's going to realize how inefficient we are. It's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? After, well, I'm, oh, you know what I'm saying? No, because this is where we explain yeah. things. <laughs> like if you take that kind of, if you can get people to vote that, then you could take an AI that's going, that's going, like back to what I said before about, yeah, technology is advancing, but if we want it to go exponentially to the point where we're going to see anything in our lifetime, which seems to be the most important thing to every goddamn yeah. scientist that's talking about this kind of shit, it's going to be able to run away. It's going to be able to run away and do whatever. Well, then it's going to be working on efficiency. It's not going to take human life into consideration, and then it's just going to take us out. But what if, on the other side, what if it said, you know, humans made me. That's humans are God. We need to save humans. What if it just wiped out all the shitty humans to because we're becoming an endangered species? You know, it's like, holy shit, we got to save the humans. Let's kill all the it shitty just humans. It realizes this planet can only support half of you. All the ones. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like, let's get back down. What did I I heard somebody, some crazy bastard say, like, we need to get down to 50,000 people or something and start over or 500,000 or some shit like that. I think it's like three or four billion. <laughs> There's so many. That what is there? If, like seven if we, if we have like seven billion. If we, yeah, we're, we're getting close to eight now. And then it's, uh, but I think, I think the number, um, that they do, they do a thing and they just have the students calculate if this is how much space a human requires to survive and grow food and exist you know, or like a society needs this much space, and there's this many, pe there's just this much actual space on the planet. How many humans can survive on this planet? And it, it comes to like 3.5 to 4 billion. And every Jesus. fucking, they don't give them the number. Every single student comes with the same answer on their own, and it's like 3.5, 4 billion people can survive on this planet. <laughs> and we're already at like 8 billion, and it's going to hit 10 billion really quick after we hit 8 billion, and then 14 billion will be a next out of nowhere, like 11, 12, 13. 14 it'll happen just real quick like that and that'll be like 2040 by that point and then the planet will be i don't like triple humans. triple See, quadruple I'm, stacks i'm thinking like i have more empathy than a robot would and i don't i mean fuck man we could stand to use a lot less of these fuckers almost everybody i run into i'm not saying they should be dead i'm just saying they should have never been born yeah i'm not saying cruel things should happen to them i'm just saying they shouldn't be here. There's a lot of people. <laughs> I feel that way about myself sometimes, though. So. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I'm better than them. I'm just saying I'm not doing that stupid shit. Oh God, just the various stupid shit you can't. You see people doing every day. Holy yeah. shit! Like you said, driving, man. I drive like, I don't know. I just drove a thousand miles, over a thousand miles, like fourteen hundred miles. Yeah. And and. And you really think that those people are better than that at than at that than machines? Oh fuck no! No, they're not. But what if like uh, what if the something crashes or something, man? Oh, shit God. crashes every day. Well, the, no, I mean shit. How crashes, many times like, do you drive on the fifteen without <clears throat> seeing a car accident? True, but what if like what if a network went down and all the cars crashed? Well, then the second network would pick up. But what if that network went down? Then the third one would pick up. I mean, what if the fucking that they're completely independent systems. Yeah, but there, I mean, if it's there was just some kind of failure, like so a you fucking can't electric like storm or some weird or shit, anything like that. <laughs> no. an electrical storm happened, lightning struck and took out the yeah. nearest thing. I, I don't know. Because if we got our fucking <laughs> super cool flying cars, what happens if those go down and then all of a sudden the cars are in the air? What if the poles flipped and then so they got to have? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's an interesting one too. Gauge symmetry. You know, what if the poles fucking what? When, what happens when the poles flip is the real question, right? Because it's not. What they say every sixty thousand years or some shit like that. We're way overdue for it, like the, since the last time it happened, yeah. And uh, it's just something that happens to planets, and we're just—it's gonna happen. I mean, it could, it, uh, you know, r relatively in what planet if it didn't scale. Do anything? It, I mean, it, it's gonna happen. Could mean it's gonna happen in fifteen hundred years. So what would I mean? I don't know enough about anything to to know exactly what that would affect. Could we just? Uh, so there's the hook everything up backwards. <laughs> I know, and then and then would everything uh, just keep working? I don't know. the The research I've done on the poles flipping 
it's there's not really any conclusive one way or another on it. I don't know. I, I mean, I could no be wrong on that. Clue. But a lot of people are like, it could do nothing. It could destroy all kinds of shit with our computers and everything. Um. So and then, but it could do this. It could do that. But there's no telling what it's gonna do until it happens. It's so fucked. Hey. You know what? This is fucking. We were talking about hurricanes and shit and the weather. Fucking. Did you see some of these fucking videos where the ocean's getting pulled back from the fucking. That shit's awesome. Dude. For those giant tidal waves? There's a fucking bay that's cleared out, dude. It's like you can see that there's no more the ocean out there. It's like it's gone. Mm. It's the ground. And the ocean is far away in a fucking swirl. And it's coming like, back dude, in it's a gonna big come way, though. It's going to come back. Dude, um, Casey's mom has a friend that refused to leave her apartment and they evacuated already and she can't get out now and she's still got power though but she's oh, just she's chilling she's Texas like well whatever, if, if i die then i die she's like i'm staying home a lot of people are staying because they they're not going to be allowed back in for a really long time and they're yeah. like what are we going to come back to a fucking waterlogged house with all my shit molded over like they're staying there so if their shit survives they can start cleaning up immediately and try and salvage the fucking house yeah I was like, fuck it, man. That would be kind of exciting to be – I don't know if I'd want to be way up in a building, but I that would be cool. Like, I mean, if my sh- – it wouldn't be cool, but if my house and everything I fucking owned mm-hmm. and I didn't have any kids, I'd fucking stay out there and see what the fuck was going to happen, see if I could survive that shit. Think about how badass that would be. <laughs> Did you do that? Or would you do that? I would. I would. Think about like a, a fucking little cement reinforced like dome or something that you could go in. Just go in your backyard. You got a little igloo, and you're just like, all right. Even if the fucking building falls on me, I'm fucking good. I mean, you know, I can't get out, but I'm not crushed, so I can at least go crazy for a couple days. <laughs> I'll write a book, and someone can find it, and you guys you will have be a entertained. Rescue beacon or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy though, man. Uh, you know, I hope those people do do okay out there in that fucking storm. That shit's crazy. Don't move to Florida. I mean, come on. How many fucking hurricanes? It happens every fucking year. Why are you going back there? It's cheap. That's you know, I don't know. That's fucking not when you factor in all the fucking hurricanes that come. That's so fucking just like Louisiana and shit. I'm like, I would not go back there to live, dude. It's gonna happen again in a matter of years. It happened how many times in the short time we've been alive? Yeah, no shit. Fuck, dude. Your planet's eating up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what else we could talk about. I mean, did we hit the limit? I don't know. Did we hit the limit? I how feel long like we been talking. Uh, I don't know. It's me- it's counting in bars. It's not counting minutes. <laughs> but I think we've been talking for quite a fucking while. I mean, man. unless you got a subject. Or uh, another joint handy. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, we have to roll it on the fucking thing. But uh, no, I think we. I think that was a good first vlog, man. Kind of just um, Agreed. a smorgasbord of uh, like a big stream of consciousness. All the bullshit we like to talk about. Um, <coughs> it's a general idea of. Uh, what to expect. Maybe we'll try to stick on one subject next time. Or yeah. Well, I mean, we came in here like, hey, let's see what happens. We just talk about nothing because we don't really yeah. get to hang out for an extended period of time. That's true. See, yeah. We got a jam, too. Dude. I mean, I brought my guitar just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, cool, man. I guess that's the uh, that's the very first uh, freaking idiot vlog podcast.